So we made it to our local feed store. We're just gonna grab, I'm grabbing a cart right now, but we're gonna go ahead and grab our chicken feed and our dog food while we're in town. About once a week, I make my way into Tractor Supply to grab both our dog food and our chicken food. They have been a frequent use here for our homestead for many years, and I'm pretty sure we will continue to use them for many years to come. I didn't realize that I had a return sitting in the car that I needed to do. And since I only tend to try and come out to town about once a week or so, I just left it in the car. So I was like, next time I'm in town, I'll go ahead and do it. I just remembered that it's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm here in the parking lot now. I'm going to run in and take care of that process really quick. And then after that, we'll probably hit the grocery stores. I'm hitting my local Kroger store to search for any deals or discounts that I can find in order to make dinner tonight. I did spend the majority of the day running errands, so this will be helpful. So we're back now from the grocery store and doing all the errands that we needed to do today, which is great. And I'm going to show you what I picked up while I was gone to kind of get ready for some meals, not only for today, but start for this week as well. So this is everything that I grabbed today. It looks like I grabbed some milk because we are completely out. I know we will need some for this next week. These guys were on sale. These are some jumbo pasta. So I think I'm gonna use those for a meal prep coming up. There was a Clarence bread that was used and I saw that these sausages were also on sale two for five. So I think in combination with this, this and these guys that we have here, some salads, these red potatoes for the entire bag were $1.49 for the whole entire bag, so that's pretty good. I can use a couple of these in combination with this and the milk. Today, I went ahead and grabbed some kale to go along with it, and I think I'm going to do a kale and sausage soup for dinner tonight. Pair that with maybe a salad and some bread, and we should be good to go. So this um, not only will work for tonight, but it'll also work for later on. This bread right here, I'm only going to use half of it because our schedules are... A little off tonight not everybody's going to be here for dinner so i'm going to use half of this for the soup meal but i'm not going to do the other half i have some um salami that i need to use up in the fridge and i have some pasta sauce and some cheese and whatnot so i think i'm going to make a um kind of like a french bread pizza for the kids on that one. And then I also picked up these um, Tide detergents because they were on clearance for $2.47. And then there was a coupon online that I was able to get $2 off if I bought two of them. So I did buy two of them. I did check the price of these and compared them to the Walmart pricing. And this one's ringing up at $14.99 for this one. And this one was coming up at like five and some change. So these ended up coming out to $1.47 a piece. So that's a pretty good deal. So I just went ahead and grabbed those to put in the stockpile while I'm gone. And then that way I don't have to buy laundry detergent if we happen to run out during our no spend or low spend challenge that we're going to be doing pretty soon here. All right, let's get ourselves on to making our sausage kale and potato soup. I'm going to start by browning the sausage that I picked up for $2.50 at Kroger, making sure that I add some salt and pepper to that. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. If you're like me, you might make a little bit of a mess in the kitchen, but that's okay. We can just grab a sponge and clean up as we go. Okay, we definitely want to get some flavor into this sausage, so I'm going to add a little bit of paprika. We're going to add a little bit of basil. We're going to add some thyme into there, some oregano, and a little bit of parsley as well. Be sure to give that a stir so that we can incorporate all of those flavors. And then we're going to go ahead and add half of an onion to that and stir that up in there as well, making sure that we give this some time for those onions to get a little on the translucent side. After we've done that for a little while, I'm going to throw a couple pads of butter in there, so about two tablespoons. I'm just going to let that melt. And then to that, we're going to throw in some potatoes. I'm using the red potatoes that I bought when I was at Kroger today. I got the entire bag for $1.49. So, so far, I'm only in the $2.50 with the sausage and the $1.49 for the potatoes because I did have the onions on hand and I did have the spices on hand. But this is what it should look like by the time you've got everything mixed up and stirred together. Once that's been cooking for a few minutes, we're going to add just a little bit of chicken broth. And the point of this is just to get that bottom moist enough to get all of that flavoring 
stirred up in there. Once that flavoring on the bottom has come up, I'm gonna add the remainder of the chicken broth, which comes out to about eight cups of chicken broth. We're gonna cover, let it come to a boil, and then once it comes to a boil, we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir, turn the heat down to kind of a medium low heat, and cover it back up and let it continue to simmer. I'm gonna move on to making our French bread. Remember, I got this one for a dollar something at Kroger as well. I'm gonna cut it in half, but I'm not gonna use the whole thing for tonight. I'm only gonna use half of it. So the other half, I'm gonna throw it back into the bag and put it in the freezer to use for another time. What I have remaining here on the baking sheet, I'm gonna add some melted butter right onto the top. So I just threw some butter in the microwave for a couple minutes, let it melt down. Then I'm gonna cover the top of the French bread with that, go in with a little bit of garlic powder to give it some flavor as garlic, almost like a garlic bread. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I did have remnants of a block of cheese in my fridge as well. So this is just regular medium cheddar cheese that I just took a small portion of that block. I shredded it up and I'm putting that right on top of the garlic bread as well. So now this is ready to go in the oven just a few minutes before the potato soup is done. It's time for us to put our garlic bread into the oven and let that go for a little bit. You can see my little partner in crime has peeked her head in there. How cute is she? She has been my partner in crime on the homestead now for the last nine or 10 years. We have a new one you can see her pop through as well. Now that our soup is almost done, it's time to get that broth a little bit more on the thicker side. We don't want it super thick as in like chicken pot pie thick, but we don't want it super runny like it's water. We want a consistency that's a little bit on the creamier side, but just without adding a whole lot of bulkness to it. So to a little bit of cornstarch, I'm adding a little bit of cold milk. I give that a stir with the whisk and then I go ahead and add that to the pot. At that point, once it's been in there, it's time for us to go ahead and add our kale. I put about half of the kale in, give it a little bit of a stir, and then I will go ahead and add the rest of it into there as well. Stir that up for a little bit, and once it's gotten to the point where it's all incorporated, I just kind of push it down with my spatula to make sure everything is as much under the liquid as possible. We're going to go ahead and cover that up and let it cook for about another five minutes. Once that five minutes is done, I come back and give it one last stir, take a peek at my garlic bread, bring that out now that that is finally done and cooking. And I need to get that cut up so that we can serve that along with our soup. I have turned the stove off on the soup, so it's just simmering a little bit right now as it is. We'll give that soup one last stir before we're getting ready to serve it into our bowl. I'm gonna grab a ladle now that it's stopped simmering and I'm gonna pour a little bit of the soup into there, set it aside, grab our garlic bread and look how great this meal has come together. We have a wonderful sausage, kale and potato soup with some cheesy garlic bread set aside and ready to eat for dinner. I really hope you enjoyed this and visit again soon.